Welcome back everybody, there's been a bit of a lag in any new details for the upcoming The Last Jedi and I do feel an urge to keep making new videos so today we'll be looking at another supposed leak over at 4chan, yes 4chan, so probably not right but spoiler warning I guess, let's have some fun and see what this new anonymous insider claims. Act 1. The movie starts immediately after The Force Awakens. We see First Order ships escaping the explosion of Starkiller Base and then entering a huge triangular ship which is probably Snoke's mega star destroyer, the Supremacy. General Hux enters a room and we hear Snoke talking to him, but we don't actually see him yet. Snoke demands that he wants to see Kylo Ren. It cuts to Kylo Ren, who's half conscious in a medical bay. He is awoken by somebody and told to present him himself before Snoke. He gets up angrily, dresses and heads off to meet with the Supreme Leader. Snoke blames him for his failure and as punishment his real identity will no longer be kept a secret within the First Order so I am assuming that only a handful of people know he's actually Ben Solo, Leia's son. Snoke orders him to hunt down the Resistance and find and kill his mother to make amends. The Resistance are preparing to evacuate. Finn is still unconscious and is loaded onto a ship. Random shots of members of the Resistance preparing to escape, including Rose hugging her sister Paige as they wish each other good luck. Just as the Resistance prepare to jump to light speed, a huge Star Destroyer appears, leading an armada of First Order ships. The big Star Destroyer is most likely the one with the cannons as it proceeds to bombard the Resistance base. Anybody who didn't manage to make it to a ship dies. Leia leads the Resistance fleet as they try to break the blockade and Rose's sister Paige who is a pilot ends up being killed in battle. Kylo Ren arrives in his TIE silencer. He's not targeting the command room where his mother is but rather the hangar bay. This scene of Poe's ship being destroyed is due to Kylo Ren's attack. Nevertheless, a random TIE fighter does hit the ship's command room which causes this scene of Kylo Ren becoming emotional. Poe was ordered by Leia not to go by himself but he disobeyed her orders. His ship being blown up here might have actually saved his life. Beforehand, he asked a mechanic who happened to be in the vicinity to look after Finn, who is still unconscious. Of course, that mechanic is Rose. The resistance is about to be totally decimated when they are saved by backup. Vice Admiral Holdo arrives just in the nick of time. As she holds off the First Order, the remaining resistance ships manage to escape. We're about 20 minutes into the film here. Leia managed to leave the control room and save herself just in time. It might even be the case that when she felt her son's presence, Kylo Ren might have reached out to her and told her to save herself, which would of course show that he still cares. We then cut to Akto. Rey approaches Luke. She gives him the lightsaber and steps back. Luke looks terrified and perplexed at what he's seen before him. Luke asks her, who is she and how did she get her hands on this? He then throws it back to her and tells her to leave. He walks away. Rey, obviously stunned and frustrated, follows him. All the while trying to catch him up to speed and convince him that they need him. Luke asks her, what does she mean by day? At this very moment, he sees the Millennium Falcon. He turns to look at Rey and then cut to a point of view shot from Chewie's and R2-D2's end. They are surrounded by Porgs and Chewie tries to chase some of them away. Luke meets with Chewie and R2-D2. This shot is obviously emotional and even more so as Luke's theme is played in the background. It cuts to a night scene around a campfire. Luke continues to question Rey about herself but he still refuses to train her which causes her to become upset and leave the campfire. It cuts back to the resistance. Leia reunites with Holdo, who we find out is an old friend of hers. Poe is also present. Rose learns that her sister Paige died in the battle. She cries. Finn awakens as Rose is crying. Rose admires Finn because of what he did for the Resistance back in The Force Awakens, but deep down inside, Finn still feels like he's a coward. Rose helps him walk to meet with Leia, Holdo and Poe. Poe and Leia are glad to see he's recovered of course, but Holdo is not too fond of him on the account that he's a former stormtrooper. Leia catches him up to speed telling him Rey defeated Kylo Ren and is off searching for Luke which amazes Finn of course. 
Due to his inside knowledge of the First Order, Leia sends Finn on an urgent and crucial mission. She wants him to go undercover on the First Order Star Destroyer with the cannons. He agrees of course. Feeling vulnerable after her sister's death and what she feels is a connection with Finn, Rose asks if she can tag along. Maz Kanata is also on the Resistance ship. She tells Finn she's happy he didn't run away and that he decided to stay and fight. She also tells him she needs somebody to help breach the ship's security system. He needs to go to the city of Cantonica on Canto Bight to meet with a man named DJ. Finn says his farewells and Poe tells him to take BB-8 along. He might be of help. They leave the ship which might be called the Ramus. Leia and Holdo discuss their next course of action and decide to go to the planet of Krait where there is an old abandoned rebel base. We go back to Luke and Rey. Rey is training with her lightsaber as Luke watches on. He seems impressed and tells her to come with him. He gets her to sit down and tells her to meditate. She says she doesn't know how to do that. Luke guides her through it. He tells her to breathe. She begins to have a vision of some sort but we don't see what she sees. She gets visibly angry and this is where she cracks the ground. She wakes up and then we go to this scene of Luke signing out. We cut to Kylo Ren who's on the supremacy. He's looking at the factory from the trailer. General Hux tells him Snoke wants to see him. Hux reprimands him but Kylo remains silent. Kylo tells Snoke he is happy with his decision to kill his mother. It's implied Snoke doesn't know Leia survived or that it wasn't actually Kylo who shot the command room Leia was in. Kylo wants to go find Rey now so that he can bring her before him. Snoke senses Kylo resents him. The resistance arrives on Crate. They explore the abandoned base. Poe is frustrated that he's not doing anything of importance. Leia ends up slapping him and telling him if he wants to be a vital piece to the resistance, he still has much to learn. We cut to Cantonica as Finn's shuttle lands near the town. He tells BB-8 to wait on the ship as he heads out with Rose. We cut back to Rey entering the force tree. Luke approaches her and tells her she's looking at the journey of the wills. He explains to her the fundamentals of the force. She says she needs help and asks him once again why he won't train her. He tells her it's time for the Jedi to end. Finn and Rose find DJ and break him out of prison. Kylo Ren has a vision which reveals Luke's and Rey's location on the Arcto. Rey continues to become more and more frustrated with Luke. She lets her anger consume her and this is where Luke tells her this won't go the way she thinks it will. Kylo Ren arrives with his troops. Luke easily dispatches them as Kylo goes after Rey. Rey ends up being knocked unconscious and she falls into a body of water. Kylo ends up saving her and tells her he just wants to talk with her. She's still aggressive towards him but ends up hearing him out. Kylo tries to convince her to go and see Snoke. He will have the answers she seeks. Luke arrives and becomes furious. Rey ends up leaving the island with Kylo Ren. Finn and Rose arrive on Crate with DJ as they prepare to infiltrate the Star Destroyer. The First Order track the Resistance to Crate and are preparing a full-scale attack. The Resistance prepares to defend themselves. Finn, Rose and DJ infiltrate the Star Destroyer. BB-8 gets them in trouble when he talks with another droid, possibly BB-9E. They all end up being captured. DJ offers his services to the First Order to save himself. Rose is nearly killed by Phasma and her troops but at this at this point the destroyer is damaged by a resistance ship which gives Finn the chance to make his move. He attacks Phasma and ends up killing her. On the supremacy, Rey is brought before Snoke. He tortures her and tries to suck the force from her. Snoke tells Kylo Ren to kill her but Kylo Ren can't bring himself to do it. Snoke tells him even though he succeeded in his mission, he is only a pawn. He orders his guards to attack him. Kylo Ren realizes his father, Han Solo, was right. He's just a tool in Snoke's hands and he's been used all along and now he's about to be discarded. He manages to kill all the guards but he cannot manage to come close to Snoke. Snoke uses some sort of force push to keep him at a distance. Kylo then tries to use the force to block Snoke from draining Rey but fails. Finn, Rose and BB-8 make it back on Crate and join the fight to try and take 
down the walkers. Luke arrives in Snoke's throne room and attacks Kylo, believing he's still the enemy. Snoke laughs as he continues to drain Rey. Luke realizes his mistake and tells Kylo to get Rey to the Millennium Falcon while he holds Snoke off. When Chewie sees Kylo, he immediately wants to attack him. Luke then rejoins them, but we don't know what happened between him and Snoke in the throne room. They go to Crate. The walkers reach the base and Leia is badly injured but alive. The Millennium Falcon takes on some TIE fighters and then picks Finn, Poe and Rose up. Rey reunites with everybody and meets Rose for the first time. They are all impressed by Luke and openly disgusted and hostile towards Kylo. They take off to try and stop the First Order soldiers who are now entering the base, but something seems to be wrong with Rey. Kylo pretends he's still with the First Order and leads some of his troops into a trap. He then goes to see his mother who's in a coma due to her injuries. Vice Admiral Holdo ends up dying in the battle. Rey and Poe go to hold the entrance to give Rose and Finn some time to help the survivors flee. Poe is suddenly knocked down by an unseen force. Rey is then frozen. Stormtroopers arrive and with them Snoke. He shows Rey her true origins and tells her Luke killed her mother and that the Jedi are hypocrites. He tells her he can unlock her true potential if she will only let him. It is implied Snoke is a master manipulator with the force. Just as he once tricked Ben Solo, he now succeeds in getting Rey to agree. He's been slowly working on her mind since she defeated Kylo Ren back on Starkiller base. Snoke is a master at telepathy. That's why she's been so full of anger throughout the film. Luke and Kylo load Leia into a ship. Finn and Rose pick the unconscious Poe up and Finn is totally devastated as he sees Rey leave with Snoke. The Falcon is damaged but manages to get Finn, Poe and Rose to safety. Luke and Kylo leave on Leia's ship. They flee Crate and that's the end. Now when this anonymous insider was asked about Rey's origin, this is what he says. She has a vision of her mother lying dead on the ground with a stormtrooper standing next to her. It might be implied that the stormtrooper is actually her father. So she's a nobody really when it comes to her lineage, but she is a manifestation of the force. We don't know if Luke really killed her mother, it could be Snoke is just manipulating her with his abilities. As for Snoke, we don't really learn anything about his origin, other than he is ancient and was too weak during the previous two trilogies to be directly involved although he was present in some capacity. So there you have it peoples, another insider gives us details about the film. Who knows in the end eh? I'd like to read what you guys think. On the off chance this is even close to what actually happens in the film, what are your thoughts about it? How plausible is this? Just remember it's one of many many 4chan leaks, so I'm very skeptical. But hey, sometimes when you least expect something to be legit, it turns out you were wrong. Who knows? Leave your thoughts down below. To stay updated with this channel, hit that notification bell. Don't forget to like, share, sub and all that good stuff and until next time, see us.